Yeah, I got started playing um, with my brother. We were a folk rock duo, as we like to call ourselves. And um, it all kind of began when I was 17-ish, and he was 11, 12-ish, can't really do math. But um, we were just, you know, busking, you know, out on, out on the Strand in Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach. And, you know, surprisingly enough, people enjoyed our random covers of Johnny Cash and the novelty songs we made up. So we took it to the coffee house uh, a couple of different places in Redondo. Started playing those type of uh, typical shows, and that was how I got started performing. Um, I really started to get into old school kind of country folk music. Um, actually, after I saw Walk the Line when I was um, when I was 15, when that came out, I just thought it was fantastic. Like I had heard Johnny Cash before that, and I think that that seeing that movie, and hearing that music, and learning about that backstory. It got me even more interested in kind of listening to like the really, really old like Carter family stuff. And I just thought their form was amazing. Um, just kind of how simple it was, but how much it said. And the harmonies and the musical style itself, I just found really inspiring. And, you know, and it helped me learn, you know, kind of the simple folk form just from listening to that. And listening to that music that timeless stuff has just been infinitely helpful to me as an artist in my life. Um, I've played all over. I actually most recently um, just got back from my first tour on the East Coast. I um, went from Boston to Florida. So that was pretty exciting. Um, I've also played in Hawaii um, a lot in LA since I lived here. And uh, it's really always interesting to me to see the different um, I would say probably one of my favorite places that I played on the tour um, was, well actually I had two favorites, but my, my first favorite would definitely be um, the Hideaway um, Cafe in uh, St. Petersburg. Um, it was just like an awesome atmosphere. They had these amazing lights and like origami in the background and everybody was just super nice and um, great listeners and it was just so awesome to make my funny story from from the tour would be probably there's a lot of them, but in Raleigh, um, I ended up uh, I was supposed to open for the larger act and in town and uh, you know this little act from L.A. and I ended up having to go after them and follow them, which was really 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 hard to do. And there's all these rowdy uh, rowdy rowdy people there. I was like, there's no way that I'm gonna keep their interest, but you know I went up there and. And people actually enjoyed it, so that was pretty awesome. And it was kind of crazy and a little scary, but it was, it was pretty great. Um, I play piano and guitar primarily, and just kind of all keyboards and general. Keyboards are kind of more my specialty. But I'm heavily self-taught, but I did um, do some lessons when I was younger, and um, I had some uh, piano lessons when I was still living in Rondo. So I've also taught myself like other little instruments for fun. I like ukulele, I like um, glockenspiel. I like saying glockenspiel too, but I also like playing it and I don't get to very often rock the block. So, yeah. I graduated high school when I was 16 and I did uh, two years of community college and then transferred to USC where I graduated actually on my 21st birthday this year in May, May 15th. That was a pretty epic day. But uh, I, I studied creative writing um, so that kind of people always ask me, how does that relate to music? Well, songwriting is creative writing. It's just, you know, the musical medium. And for me, writing has always been a passion and, you know, my main passion in life. And music has just been the form that 